Chris said he just see a black shadow in here. <gasps> Son of a bird. I was quick when I was walking. I'm very good. I'm very good. This is the most comfortable. Show yourself. Give us some. Oh. time of this recording of the interview, one of the home's former residents was unsure if she wanted her identity known, so I agreed to film her in shadow. But as we got closer to our investigation, the now revealed Tessa has not only agreed to show herself, but along with her sister Nikki, will actually be taking part in tonight's investigation, hoping to get some answers to whatever it is in their former home that nearly drove her to the brink of insanity. Here's her story. It all started with nightmares. When I was really young, I used to have these really bad nightmares where I would be in my bedroom and then I hear a loud screech and my doors would slam shut, then slam open, I'd be dragged into the bathroom and it'd go completely blank. And I had those nightmares for years and years and years. And I had other nightmares where I'd be in the bathroom and just my eyes would be black and there'd be blood just leaking from my face and I just would wake up and then one time well yeah I'm starting to freak out a little bit <laughs> it was Easter night when I was 13 years old and my light flicked on so I woke up and I was like what's going on and I was looking at my door and well no one was there and i was thinking my parents turned on my light and then it flicked off again and i could hear the light switch so i got up and i ran to my younger sister's room and i sat on her little chair and all night all i could hear was the lights flicking on and off on and off and my the shadow in the hallway just going off i used to pace a lot in the kitchen around our island and every once in a while I see a little girl chasing me on the island with black eyes and I'll just take off upstairs. It's absolutely terrifying. I hated that one the most. One time I was sitting down in the living room and the remote, we had a sectional couch. It split in two, but it was together. But there was the remote was sitting like a far enough distance away from me. And I was just sitting there by myself and I just, from the corner of my eye, I can see the remote just dropping beside me. To this day, I still feel someone like tugging the back of my hair, especially in this house. It just out of the blue randomly. I'd be just sitting down and all of a sudden it feels like someone just literally picks it up and just pulls it back for no reason. I, I got so used to it that I don't even flinch. I just kind of accept it. I used to wake up and I'd find like the flat edge square razor blades around me just in my bed and one time I had a big scratch going down my arm and I, I would always ask everybody to like are you putting these in my bed? Are you like cutting something in my room? It stopped after a while but it was just like why is that in my bed? And I was getting in the shower and there was, there was a like like the tally dash number five cut into my thigh for no reason and I had like few faint scratches across here. So the most recent thing that happened was when my younger sister went with her friends and I was just sitting downstairs because it was nice and cool and I looked up like up the, up the stairs because it's I felt something weird and there was just a strange black eyed kid just eyeballing me and I called my sister crying and she had to come get me 
and take me back to my boyfriend's house because I was not staying here any longer. Why do you think they're here? Is it because of you, maybe? Or is it because of you think they were here already when you first moved in? Or someone else in the family? Probably me. Yeah. Because everything that ever happened to me is when I was in a very, very dark spot in my life. And I know they feed off that negative energy and they love that stuff, so they come right for you. So every time I'm in a dark space, they that's when they come at me the most. And everything that happened never happened like all at once. It was just different parts of my life because we lived here for years and it's just that one dark spot and you got me in life and they come right at it. Has anything that you know happened to without naming names happened to anybody else in the house? Dad woke up with scratches all down his back and dad in the basement that he still won't talk about to no one. He went down into the basement and he just came up and he looked terrified and he never said anything and still won't today. My younger sister had a really bad nightmare and to the corner of our good room, um, she heard one of me and my other sisters like calling out to her and then she looked and it was like this tall dark figure with horns just sitting there in the corner. So my father, when he was trying to walk down the stairs, he felt like there was a cat or something on his feet. And when he, like he checked, but like he fell forward. And when he fell down the stairs, we have a little ledge that's on our window. And there was a nail sticking up and it scratched the side of his, like the side of his eye. Well, and he, he I mean, he broke the piece and we never repaired it. But then he hammered it down. When I lived here, um, like you'd be just getting close to sleep, all of a sudden you feel like someone getting really close to your ear, and you hear them like leave, get out, go away, stop, and like it would wake you out of dead sleep, and you'd stay up all night. And there was times that I literally sat up and I still heard someone talking to me, but it won't make sense. My younger sister doesn't have a door in her room. She has a curtain because we have no door frame. And every uh, once in a while you see someone out in the crack because it doesn't shut properly. Out to the crack of a curtain. Just like a dark figure just looking in at you. Ashes to ashes. You will all fall down. Okay guys, welcome back to Ashes to Ashes. It's been a while but we're glad to be back. Um, super glad to be here. It's a place, uh, like you, so you heard, it's uh, pretty crazy stuff going on. We've been wanting to get into this place for quite a while. Um, tonight we actually have two special guests with us that were, uh, kids that grew up in this house. They're not kids anymore, but they, they were the ones that told me about this place and all the stuff that happened in this place. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, uh, terrifying. And they are Nikki. And Tessa. Hey guys. Hi. Okay guys, so without further ado, we're going to get this started. Let's go. Okay guys, so we do have a couple of new tools in our arsenal. Um, my youngest son, Austin, made these rim pods for us. As you see, they work well. Um, homemade rim pods. The other one's not turned on, but we are going to leave one here on this mantle. Because Chris has been feeling stuff in this room so we're gonna leave one in here we're gonna put the second one upstairs where their father fell down these steps he was actually pushed down these steps and this is where his face landed and broke that ledge and I was just told today that uh, when he told his wife about it, their mother, um, she looked at his back and there wasn't a spot on his back that wasn't covered in scratches and uh, he didn't fall on his back, did he? No. Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> so there's no reason why he should have had the scratches all over his back, but he did. So we're going to leave the other rim pot at the top of those stairs. So we're just going to do a, just kind of like a walk around without asking anything to see if anything happens. But before we do that, go ahead. Is that recording? Yeah.
So if there is anything in the house here, uh, any energy whatsoever, we have these machines here. You can come close to them and they'll let us know that you're there. Feel free to use them. He's not scared of the ghost team. He's scared of spiders. Yeah, they just pointed that out to me. That's just like... Oh, that's just lovely. Where is it? I can even see it. Yeah, yeah, no. No, no, no. So, when we were here doing the interviews, um, this light here turned on while we were in this room. This turn, light turned on twice by itself. We were all in there, and as you can see, the light switch is right beside the light. So, don't know what to say about that, but... And my blind is, if you guys hear or see anything that we don't, let us know and we'll go to it. If it's upstairs, don't matter if it's up here or down there, we'll go to it. Yeah, you uh, go where you want. I'm just gonna follow you. It's weird because it makes you like when you walk through here. Mm -hmm. Not like you want to go that way. It just feels like it will continue. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Just where you're at, or in general? Uh, just in general. Yeah. Let's like see. That's the stuff I was getting in your room when we were here before. Yeah. Just want to take a walk back over. Now here, actually, um, you guys don't have to stay in the dark if you don't want to. <laughs> this is where. Um, Chris, this is where Tessa, how does there was a you were out here and you seen the black eyed little girl. Right. Yeah, I used to pace it on this all the time. And like if I was over on this side, I'd see it like hunched over. Like you can see just the top of its face just going across trying mm. to like get at me. So I'd run. So if you guys know a little bit about black eyed children, you know that usually they have to be invited in, but it doesn't mean you someone didn't invite them in unknowingly. Yeah. You, you guys all right? Yeah. Even with the camera on you? Now something happened to him downstairs, and uh, he won't talk about it to this day. No. Is there anything here that wants to talk to us, wants to let us know that you were present? We have the two girls that grew up in the house here with us tonight. We have a machine in the room here. You want to let us know that you are here. We can touch the machine and it will beat for us. There's also one at the top of the stairs. We'll do it in here. Okay. Press. 
Over here. Over where? Where would you like us to go? What would you like us to press? Albert, Anthony. Albert and Anthony. Huh. <laughs> That's uh, connecting to me. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you. Actually, I can tell you now about it. Um, Iron. Iron. Ben S. I see you. Satan. Sure. Be blessed. You want this on or off? No, no, you can do this on. Before we left, Ben had asked me if he could come on one of these one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the name's his dad. Oh, it's his grandfather. Always. Uh. Not. <laughs> Huh. Always not. Where did you hear the, uh, okay. we're just right up here? Yeah. Wanna go check that out first? Sacrifice. Okay, so the girls just told us that they heard something snap upstairs, so we're gonna go check that in. That's where we put the other red button, guys. So the last time I was here, this is where I was getting the real this, this room and the next one were the strangest feelings. It was getting super hot and super hot and super hot. And we tried the ghost tube and it was talking talk about fire or flames and stuff and it was getting to the point where we had to step out. What is disrespectful? Albert. Albert's being disrespectful? If anything Or was disrespectful to you? Anything you guys recollect. Like, oh, I know what he's talking Neil, about. Neil, guilty. Um, I think I just caught it. There's no bugs in here, right? Um, I think I just caught it. There's no bugs in here, right? I just saw it. It's not. Satan. Sad. Closer. Bite, yes. Bite, yes. 
Do you want to bite me? Can you bang on something or move something? see something on the camera. I couldn't see there, but something on the camera shot up from from this angle. Run. Up across the door. Like something like a white ball or white ball or something like that. I'll have to go back and look. That's why I asked if there was any bugs in here. What is that? Obviously not. That is a machine out in the hallway. If you want to go up there and touch it, let us know you're here. If you get close to it, it'll start to ring. There's also one downstairs below us. We can go to another room. Sure. Sure. You want to come with us? Spirits are in this house. Can you make a sound so we can hear it? Something loud? By the way, see you too. I forgot to introduce ourselves. I'm Dave. That's Chris. Just like today. Just like today. You don't like the light? Prefer to be in the dark? And it's Nikki and Tessa in the other room. Yes, my Damage. Name. Do not. We're not here to break anything at all. We're just here looking for a little bit of confirmation. That somebody was also here in this house, uh, not in human yes. shape. Do you like the idea of the area of the house being worked on? What's dangerous?
Okay. We're hearing, what would you call it? Like Someone, I don't know, scratches or footsteps. It's so stuffy up here. I know. Did you make that sound again? Was that somebody walking around? Or was it somebody on the stairs? Can you come close to that on the floor and set it off? Reach for it. You might not be used to, that was me, us, or people like us coming in and wanting to just talk out of the blue, but here's your chance if you want to let us know anything. This room is safe, isn't it, guys? Uh, With the patio. Nice what? There's a broken board already there. I was in there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take Tessa out of her comfort zone, I believe, a little bit maybe, maybe not, and she's going to go in the room that she, uh, it was her bedroom while she lived here, and where all the stuff, most of the stuff happened to her. So she's going to go in there, and she's going to be doing the Hit in the Shadows segment of her video tonight, so... We're going to let her in there. We're going to put a REM pod in with her. Just the night vision camera, no lights, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. But shit, I meant to put that REM pod in there. All right, guys, so Tessa's upstairs in the room by herself. We're going to let her stay up there for 5, 10, 15 minutes or whatever. Um, she really wants answers of what's been, what was terrorizing her all these years, and I don't blame her. And... So far, it's been pretty quiet, but we did start to hear some, whether it was footsteps, like barefoot, or scratching, or something. And the girls heard something snap upstairs just before we went up. So we'll see what happens. So any spirits want to get their point across or haven't seen Tess in a long time, now it's your chance to go up there and tell her why you've been, why you pretty much put her through hell over all these years of being here. Don't chicken out now, go up and let her know. Thank you. 
Was there? So Nikki was just being touched on her arm. Every time she puts her arm out, she feels something touching her. Chris said he just seen a black shadow in here. someone in here is there a spirit in here can you make a scratch yeah something audible that we can hear you a bang a scratch anything can you move something that'd be impressive or are you not strong enough to move something I believe you are. So how about trying to uh, make some make a big noise? Yeah, I thought okay. Where'd it come from? Cause I didn't. No, I couldn't tell. Like it was just yeah. almost sound like it was my head. Is that all you have? 
We're not trying to piss you off or anything. We're just trying to get answers for the family. Is that... You sure? What's she doing? Is she walking? <gasps> Son of a bird. Look at that. Do you see that? That's the spiders I bet with my Oh yeah, we get those all the time. We're talking about spiders. Yeah. Those when we're sitting up home, they'll run across the floor like right in front of me. Yeah. Just move it. Just move it. Get a photo of it. I moved. Like super fast. <laughs> Getting like multiple like lights off of them. Yeah. Almost like little lights that are like. Okay. Like tracers are. <clears throat> You end up getting like tracers in your eye and you can just see mm -hmm. it. you look at like wounds, that's mm -hmm. what it's like. It's like. Okay. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Hey guys, we're going to take a little one uh, last walk around, complete lights out, um, night vision on to see if uh, anything happens. Where's my phone? Is there a notification? I don't get them on the camera, right? Hmm. I will check those shortly. Okay, we can't see. Is there anything like you'd like to do while we can't see you? Maybe you don't like to be watched. Could you make a noise or move something now? Or show yourself? Is there a black eyed child here? Sorry, is there a child period here? Can you make a noise? steps last night. Can you touch me? Don't just stand there. Pulling my sweater. And why are you making me so hot? Are you a negative spirit? Here's you want to take that for a minute. Oh my gosh. I'm almost to the point. Actually. 
So what are you trying to, what's your point? He just got kicked out. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I paced around here, my knees used to give out a lot. Like maybe if you walk See you. I was getting like woozy too once we being on a boat as you're walking around there. Intentions to hurt people, give us a sign if it is. Show yourself, give us some. Would you like us to leave? 
Yeah, if you want us to leave, give us a sign. Can you set off one of our devices here? what I was I never felt I was getting oh jeez hate to use the term attack loosely but oh shit I couldn't it's like I was getting too hot I was getting overheated to the point I was just gonna give out to get a message across promise there won't be any changes made to the house but I'm sure they'll be good ones is that all right Evan. can you say one I'm close say goodbye. Heaven. We're going to say goodbye. We wish you would go to heaven. Feel free to pass over. Kitchen. Yes. 
you know, you're in the kitchen with us. We're just letting you know everything's okay. And if you want to cross, you can cross. If you want to stay, you kitchen. Can stay. Watching you. Yeah. There we go. You can feel it. Like we can feel you. Run. Hold. 